Day after our nation celebrated its 247th birthday, Americans awakened from their barbecue-induced slumber to discover that cocaine was confirmed inside the people's house. I'll grant you that the headline, arguably, is one of the most disgraceful and debaucherous headlines I've ever seen. But arguably, there are far worse. Democrats America isn't normal, part two. That's our focus in today's preamble. Most Americans were repulsed by the headlines that confirmed that the substance that put the white in Joe Biden's White House was indeed cocaine. On social media, like left-wing dominated sewer that Twitter is, they refused to blame the Democrats who were in charge, while conservatives joked that the bag of cocaine may have belonged to the current presidential son, Hunter Biden, given his documented exploits on the Hunter Biden laptop from hell, leftists on Twitter actually tried to blame Donald Trump Jr. I actually got a call on the radio show this morning from a Democrat saying that the cocaine could have belonged to Don Jr. Of course, sane people just roll their eyes at that explanation as it was revealed that the Secret Service discovered the illegal substance on a standard sweep on Sunday night. For us to believe lying leftists, we'd have to believe that the Secret Service is so incompetent that they had missed a bag of cocaine in the White House on their routine sweeps for over two years. And nobody believes lying leftists anymore. Not after this. And one could forgive us conservatives for being suspicious of Hunter Biden. According to thousands of newly uploaded photos from the first son's abandoned laptop from hell, Hunter Biden apparently filmed himself smoking crack behind the wheel of a car in 2018, the same year he took a picture of himself driving 172 miles per hour in a Porsche. Conservatives look at Hunter as the perfect Democrat, reckless, law-breaking, and narcissistic, self-absorbed enough to capture it all in pictures. Still, some online folks are saying that these laptop pics exonerate Hunter from the cocaine incident at the White House. Clearly, says one online poster, Hunter's drug of choice is crack, not coke. And to all the Democrats out there who were holding out hope that the tests on the white powder at the White House would reveal it wasn't cocaine, MSNBS notified their audience of the folly of their voting habits earlier today. And turning to some breaking news, we have just learned that a formal lab has confirmed the suspicion that that white powdery substance found in the West Wing on Sunday was, in fact, positive for cocaine. The discovery led to a brief evacuation of the White House Sunday night. Joining us now is NBC White House correspondent Mike Memoli. So, Mike, where do things stand now? This is so unusual. You and I have covered the White House for years. I can't even fathom anything like this having been found before in the West Wing, and I go back to the 70s at the White House. <laughs> okay. Why so surprised, Andrea? These are the plastic banana good time rock and rollers your network has foisted upon this country for decades. You should be overjoyed at your success in the country's failure. And where the presence of cocaine may explain some of the bat guano crazy policies coming out of the Oval Office these last couple of years... We have to be fair and say issues with people in government operating in an apparent state of impairment is bipartisan. Here's the left-wing speaker of the Texas House during the last legislative session. The speaker, I'll move adoption. Mr. Campbell, send that amendment. The amendment is acceptable to the author. Is there objection to the opposite amendment? And the chair has none. The amendment is adopted. The chair recognizes Mr. Mr. Johnson of Harris, Mr. Johnson of Harris, to speak in opposition to the bill. The chair recognizes Ms. Niave Criado to speak in opposition to the bill. <laughs> Be careful, Texas. You don't want the left-wing Republicans in the Texas House taking their cues from the leftists in the Biden regime. Well, any more than they do already, I mean. But cocaine at the White House is bad enough, but the shredding of the Constitution is worse. Here's Joe Biden defying a ruling from the Supreme Court, encouraging Americans to sign up for his illegal vote-buying program, otherwise known as the Student Loan Forgiveness Program, a program the Supreme Court just deemed was unconstitutional. And by the way, the program is still there. Go to, anyway, you ought to contact us to make sure you know exactly how to qualify.
Okay, and here is Joe Biden once again, channeling his inner communist, claiming America's children belong to the collective. Children are the kite strings, they're not somebody else's shoes, they're all our children, are the kite strings that lift our national ambitions aloft. Okay. Now, given how Hunter Biden turned out, the last thing Americans should be doing is seeking parenting advice from Joe Biden. Also, the last thing Americans should tolerate from Joe Biden is allowing his government to lay claim to our children. In fact, Joe Biden is such a hypocrite on this issue, Americans are repulsed to read reports that Biden is denying his own flesh and blood. An innocent little girl who was brought into this world because of Hunter Biden's lack of moral character, and now Joe Biden and his regime won't even acknowledge her. Nothing says devoted family man from Scranton like Joe Biden refusing to acknowledge his own grandchild. Joe Biden, your family is a mess. You can't have America's families. Here's another headline. A judge has determined that the Biden regime likely violated Americans' First Amendment rights by censoring what Democrats viewed as unfavorable views on social media over the course of the China virus pandemic. The judge called the regime's shredding of our Constitution, quote, Orwellian. Folks, I could go on, but what's the point? I, your liberty-loving Latino, will say the illegal, communistic, and unconstitutional behavior of the far left is wrong and un-American, and the biased press will ignore it all with the phrase, what about Trump? I hope at least you, my beloved audience, will recognize the nature of the people we are facing, and I hope you will dedicate yourself to defeating them and their allies and saving this nation from the Democrats' deviant dumpster fire. Folks, I guarantee you, None of this is normal.